Hey everybody, I'm Lance Gwicky, and today I want to talk to you about how I've managed to stay fit over the last several years, three and a half years now, using basically only a set of dumbbells. Now, not every workout will go this way, but I do like to use an interval timer. Uh, if you need one, I made one, mastering.fitness slash timer. And before we do that, you know, we've generally got to warm up. <laughs> Don't have to necessarily, depending on the type of workout you're doing, but for something like this, uh, the work periods are going to be pretty intense, so we don't want to just throw our bodies into that, especially if you live your day like I live my day, where I'm sitting at the computer all day. As far as what to do for your warm-up, I've got a blog post about that that goes into more detail, uh, but essentially you want to... Restore any mobility that you might need. That might be some directed, specific mobility exercise uh, or even a stretch if you need them. And then you're just going to take your body through every motion that it's going to need for the workout. Uh, finishing off with, as you see, a little uh, sweating. It's worth pointing out that we used no equipment for the warm-up. And you'll see this first block is eight rounds of 10 second sprints with 50 seconds of rest. And I'm just running in place. I call them high knees because we're trying to bring my knees up to about hip level. We don't always get there. Be careful, Lance. Tie those shoes. So something like this can get pretty boring uh, if you are the type of person that really seeks that novelty. Uh, but honestly, I would consider that <laughs> a weakness. Like I want to be able to be bored, especially with social media and the stimulus that we have everywhere. It's good to take your exercise and not only turn it into a physical workout, but also a mental workout. So not every workout is like this, but this one in particular has this oscillation. So we have a lot of these repeated high intensity sprints that you already saw. And then we do some core work for a few minutes as a way to do some active recovery, challenging the core, building some central body endurance, but also allowing your heart rate to come back down and your muscles to recover from the sprints so that we can do some more of them. All right, I've talked about minimal equipment and here is the, the thing that just does everything for me. This is called an adjustable dumbbell. This specific brand is PowerBlock uh, Elite EXP. Uh, EXP means it's expandable, up to 90 pounds. So each dumbbell, I've got two of them, each dumbbell can be up to 90 pounds. This is the only thing you need in a gym, in your home gym, to be effective and fit. These dumbbells have some drawbacks, as might be apparent to some of you. If you're pretty strong, I guess like I am, you can outgrow those 290s pretty quickly. So if I'm doing deadlifts with dumbbells, I'm stuck with 180 pounds, which is really not very close to the, you know, 510 that I've done before. So you miss out on some absolute strength training, but you can still, you, you know, you can just add reps and do them until you're totally exhausted. I do like them. Uh, I'll add a link in the description to an Amazon affiliate link. I bought mine on Amazon. And if you decide to purchase them, I get a little bit of kickback with no additional cost to you. So if you do that, thank you. You'll see a lot of these core exercises are centered around proper diaphragmatic breathing. If you can get a good diaphragmatic breath, that's not a belly breath where only the belly expands. What we're looking for is full expansion from the belly and the chest, even into the back, as you might have seen in the warm up. 
And what that does is it promotes mobility. It reduces the tension that your brain sends down to your muscles, relieving the joints of any restriction and allowing them to execute their full movement excursion. I should mention I put a thin band in there in this workout as well. Uh, it's a nice addition. They're, you know, 20 bucks or whatever. Uh, I would recommend them, but you don't even need them. You can just hold the arm diagonal in the same position just without the resistance for this exercise. All right, that's it. I hope this video showed you that you don't really need hardly any equipment. I really think you don't need any uh, it just gets kind of boring. You get more variety out of having some stuff. So it's time to clean up. If you enjoyed what you saw, leave a comment starting with okay or not okay. Uh, I want to know if you're okay with this amount of equipment for your workouts or if you're not okay and you need a lot more stuff. Feel free to ask any questions. I will do my best to answer absolutely everything that I can. And take care.